In the previous video, I showed you some of the problems with Visio layers. Now I'll show you some way that uh, you can overcome it by using the new layer manager add-in from BeVisual. The layer manager add-in just has a very small UI on the ribbon, which is under the view menu. And if we click on the layer buttons, then we see a list of all of the layers that are on this page. So now we have something which is what's called modeless. You don't have to open up that uh, clumsy layer manager dialog. We can just, for example, click on turning off layer one or turning off layer three and make it a lot easier. We can here, for example, see that the snap layer buttons layer has uh, been enabled. And what is the snap layer button? Well, I'm now going to show you how you can bring in some of my toggle layer buttons. Let's say, for example, I wanted to have layer one as a toggle button on here. Now, what this shows me is that I've got layer one on display because there is a little gray circle down here showing me it's got layer one. If I double click this now, you'll see that layer one is being switched off and indeed the print is being toggled off at the same time. That's not the only thing you can do with these buttons because there's a whole load of right mouse clicks on there as well. So which enables me to, well, if I was uh, big enough in the screen here, let's move it down here a touch. And they've got these layer actions here, which enable me to change not only the uh, toggle invisible as one, but individually switch on or switch off all of the other settings. And a good one down here, which is showing me how to set the layer to the button color. So how does that work? Well, let's say that I I want to colour this button as red because I want uh, layer 1 to be red. I can now use that action there to set that to a colour. So we can see that that layer is now on 1. Layer colour 1 is that. So I'll drag in number 2. And let's say I want that one to be green. I can set that. And 3. Let's say I want that to be uh, blue. And let's do a set on that. So I've now got these different colors that are being set for each of the layers. But I've still got the ability here of switching them on and off. And notice now that we can very easily see that the shape which is on layers 1, 2 and 3 is showing up as blue and I can toggle it off and I don't need to worry that I've got a visible and printable, if you like, mixed up. There's other clever things you can do here. Let's say I wanted to bring in layer one again, but this time I want to bring in layer two. I'm just going to drag that on top and we've now got layers one and two on the same button. And I just type, double click that and you can see that they've been switched off together in harmony. In fact, you don't have to, you don't have to uh, drag it from the menu on the right hand side here in this panel because we have got this handy little toggle menus list here which has the same thing. So let's say I'm zoomed in on an area of the drawing here. I can switch off layer one, switch off layer two, switch off layer three quite easily. And all of those other actions that were on the right mouse menu are there as well to make them either snappable or unsnappable, etc. So all of those are there for you and you've got the ability also, for example, of bringing uh, these shapes forward that are all in that layer. So I can here, for example, do that and we see that uh, the green one has come forward. Do the same to number three and we see that one has come forward. So all shapes can be, as are on the selected layer, all layers can be brought forward at one. So here's the one which has got two layers on it, for example. And I can make those come forward together, or I can make them go back together. I've also got those, the ability to assign shapes to these uh, selected layers if I wanted to. Right. There, of course, I may not have put all of the layers onto a button, uh, so here we've got the ones that are actually on buttons at the moment. 
and here we've got the layers that are not on buttons and I mentioned we've got a container layer so I could make that container layer visible or invisible indeed I can make my toggle buttons visible or invisible depending on what you want to do and if I was to be for example uh, drag in another button which I can do from here by the way I can just scoot over the top of this button over there and I bring in one here let's say I, I meant to put in three but I misspell it then down the bottom here for invalid I will have got three shown there but if I typed in something correct on here let's say three that's now acting on layer three and so if I zoom out a bit and double click we can see that layer, layer three so you can either drag it from the panel on the right hand side or you can type in those layers and if you misspell something uh, not a problem because it will appear under this invalid layer names down there okay so that is how we can change the settings easily and once we've got these toggle layer buttons we can easily see which layers or the valid layers are listed and if we wanted to we could actually go and change them from there the settings on there as well so that's uh, one little action you can do if you purchase layer manager from B visual now we're going to move on to something else